I've always worked for an employer who participates in the United Way and have faithfully donated every year. I wanted to help others that are in need, and not in a million years though did I ever think that I'd have to use some of the services that were provided by United Way. I was scared to death to be a single parent, but had to be strong for my kids. And I think the worst time was at night when I put them to bed and I had the time for my brain to wander. One night in particular, I was having a hard time. I couldn't stop crying, and it was too late to bother anyone with my problems. However, I could not calm myself down. So this was the first time I came in contact with Foundation 2 when I called their helpline. I didn't know what to expect, but even though I was crying so hard, I couldn't tell them what was wrong. The person that was on the other end of the line, though, took the time to ask me yes and no questions that I could answer, and got to the point where after I was able to tell her with yes or no answers, she was able to figure out what's wrong and be able to talk to me, and then I was able to actually talk to her. I never felt the need to call them again, but always knew they were there if I did. Over the years, I found myself, my kids and I became stronger as a family, and I met a wonderful man with three kids himself. We got married in 2007, and our new family life began. Just like with any family, we had our ups and downs, but life was going pretty good. Well, I thought it was. One night in February last year, or a year ago, a year and a half ago, my 16-year-old son took his own life. Again, life completely stopped, and I honestly had no idea where to start to pick up the pieces of my shattered heart. I wasn't even sure I wanted to. A friend of my husband's contacted him as her brother had also committed suicide. She met with me and told me about the Suicide Survivor Support Group. My husband and I started attending that group, and it has been amazingly helpful. It is comforting to know that I'm not crazy in some of my fears and some of my thoughts. And there are other people out there going through the same thing that are feeling the same way I am. The people are very supportive and have helped us get over that hump of the year of the first horrible firsts. And it's also wonderful having others who lost people who come back to group to help others and gave me hope that I'm someday going to get to that place too. Now I can actually say that I know I'm still grieving, but I'm going to be okay. Um, this, the group is called the Suicide Survivor Support Group. Foundation 2 is a supporter of this, and of course they are helped by United Way, funded by United Way. This group has been very important to me that I've only missed one time in the past year and a half, and that was just due to medical reasons. Foundation 2 also offers quite a few other services. All of their services came from a need that they found in the community that other, other providers were not giving. They try not to duplicate anything that anybody else is doing. Some of their other services, the 24-hour crisis hotline that I spoke about, the support groups, they have a survivors of suicide support group, depression and anxiety support groups. They have a mobile crisis outreach program that is amazing that if somebody is in your family or some friend, you know, is very close to doing something severe, you can get somebody from Foundation 2 to come and help you with them within two hours. Two people will come that are qualified to help with that situation. After hours food pantry, so for people that can't make it when other um, companies or other organizations are open, they have a youth shelter for ages 11 to 17. This could be for kids that are either themselves having problems or maybe their families are having problems and they need to get out of the house. They have therapy, they have family counseling, they also have transitional housing for young adults. So this helps the kids who are maybe getting out of the foster kids program be able to learn how to live on their own and they help them actually migrate to that living on their own. I want to thank you for your time and listening to my story and how Foundation 2 has helped me through some of the tough times in my life. I also want to thank you for your donations to United Way because it supports Foundation 2 that's very important to me.